Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this amazing animated border on your cars using Elementor page builder. I will show you everything step by step from scratch. So without further ado let's now go inside Elementor page builder. To take a new section let's first click on this plus icon and I'm taking this three column structure. Now here I'm making its height to minimum height and let's set it to 100 vh. Now let's go under style tab and from here I'm setting a background color that's a hash 0d132d. Alright now inside this middle column click on this plus icon and here I'm dragging an inner section. Let's now delete one of these columns from inside the inner section. Now let's select the inner section and here I'm giving its height to minimum height and 400 pixel is fine. Now let's go under its style tab and from here I'm making its background color to pure black color and then from here let's add some border radius. So from here I'm adding 20 pixel of border radius. So if we now minimize the bar from left here we can see the corners are now rounded. Alright let's now expand it and go under its advanced tab. From here I'm just adding 4 pixel of padding around this inner section. Now I also want to add some space at the left and right. So to do it I'm selecting this time the outer column this one. Go under its advanced tab and from here I'm just unbinding the padding and only on the right and the left I'm adding 30 pixel of padding. Alright now inside this column click on this plus icon first here I'm dragging an heading widget and we can say it let's say card 1. I'm making its alignment to centered go under style tab from here let's make the text color to white color and from here typography. I'm making the font size to 60 pixel and font width let's make it really bold so I'm making it 900. Alright now underneath this heading widget here I'm dragging some paragraph. We can also make it to centered aligned also I'm making the text color to a off white color like this. And now underneath this paragraph I'm here dragging a button widget. Let's now make its alignment to centered. Now go under style tab. From here I'm making the button's background color to transparent. Also let's add some border with it. So I'm making the border type to solid and one pixel of width. Also let's make the border radius to 20 pixel. Perfect. Now if we have a look there is a lot of space in between this paragraph and this button. So to reduce it just go under advanced tab unbind the margin. And here at the top I'm adding some negative margin. I'm adding 20 pixel of margin top. That's the negative 20 pixel. Alright now I wanna make all these contents vertically centered within this column. So just select this inner column. From here let's make the vertical align to middle. Now go under this columns style tab. From here first I'm making the background color to the same color like this section. So from this color picker I'm taking the same color code. That's hash 0D132D. And with this column, I also want to add some border radius. So from here, open the border. And here I'm adding border radius 16 pixel. And now to add some inner space, go under advanced tab. From here, I'm adding just 15 pixel of padding. If we now minimize the bar from left, here we can see our beautiful card. And if we have a close look, we can see a black color border around this card. But actually it's not a border because if we just open the tab from left and let's now select this inner section. You may remember we have added 4 pixel of padding with the inner section. So here this black color border is actually the padding in between the inner section and this inner column. Only to make you double sure I'm uh, making here let's say 20 pixel instead of 4. So right now you can see it's now more bigger. Alright but now instead of this 20 pixel I'm setting it to 4 pixel. And now I want to add that animated border around this card. So to do it make sure you are selecting the inner section. Then from under its advanced tab open the custom CSS field. By the way custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I will put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through my affiliate link. You don't have to pay any extra but I will get a little credit for that. That will help me to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this. Alright now you can write the custom CSS code inside here or you can just simply go inside jimfahaddigital.com. 
I will put this pages link in the description. From that page, if you scroll down a bit, here you can see animated border CSS. Just copy this whole CSS snippet from here and now go inside Elementor, then paste the code inside this custom CSS field. So if we now minimize the left bar, here we can see our beautiful animated border. Alright, let's now open the left bar because I want to show you how you can change the first color, second color, size and speed from here. Alright, so let's first start with these colors. Basically these two are gradient colors. If you want to change these colors, then from here, just change the first color first. So here I'm putting a hex code that's hash FFF, FFF, you know, this is the hex code for white color. And if we now minimize the bar, here we can see this one become the white color. All right, let's now open it. And from here, the second color, if I put here hash FF0000, that's basically the hex code for red color. If we now minimize it, here we can see it is become the red color. All right, let's open it. And I basically want to go back to those initial colors. All right. Now from here, if you want to change its size, because let me show you the initial size. So right now you can see their length or size is like this. If you want to increase it, then from here you see size. I set it to 100 pixel instead of 100. If you write here 200 pixel. Now you see they are becoming more bigger or their length is becoming bigger and instead of 200 now i'm going back to 100 but if you want you can put it any pixel value like 100 pixel or 110 20 like this and then here is the last option that is the speed option right now you see their animating speed is four second and if you want to make it faster then you can just put here two so you see it's now happening within two seconds but it really fast for me so here if we just put 10 second here you see it's now slowly moving within 10 seconds but it also becomes more slower but i wanna put here four second because four second looks standard animation duration to me so it's looking like it at this moment all right let's open the left bar from here and i want to show you another thing let's say if you want to increase the width of these borders then you can just simply select this inner section go under its advanced tab and open this advanced field from here instead of 4 pixel if you put here for example 20 pixel you see their width is becoming more bigger but i don't want that i'm just showing you the options i'm just putting here 4 pixel to me it looks perfect all right if you just want to duplicate this you can duplicate it by duplicating this outer column so make sure you are selecting the outer column then let's duplicate it i'm duplicating it one more time and we can simply just delete empty column from the left also let's delete the empty column from right and now you know you can just simply change this text so here i'm typing card two and then here i'm typing card three so right now they are looking great but finally i just wanna show it how it's looking on tablet device and mobile device so from here let's now click here on responsive mode so on the mobile device they're looking great but i think we need to add some space at the top and bottom of this inner section so make sure you have selected the inner section then here i'm adding just 20 pixel margin at the top and bottom of this inner section then with the second one we don't need to add anything and i'm selecting the third one go under its advanced tab here i'm adding also 20 pixel margin at the top and bottom so right now they're looking great on mobile device let's now have a look how they're looking at the tablet device so from top let's now click on tablet they are already looking great on tablet device as well so on mobile device and tablet device they're looking great let's now close this responsive bar from top and when you are done don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work i hope you have learned something new today if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i will upload a new video on this youtube channel and if you want me to help you on your wordpress project or elementor project then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will try my best to help you personally once again thank you so much for watching this tutorial i will see you on the next video for now bye bye